welcome the amazing Ron Clark. Wow, Ron. How did you get into teaching? I left college and I traveled all around the world, going to Romania and backpacking to different countries. I ended up, I was actually, when I was in Romania, um, I was staying with some gypsies and they fed me some food. I didn't know what it was, but I ate it and um, it was rat. And, um, <gasps> it made me oh. so sick and um, I had to be flown home. And I'm from a little tiny town in North Carolina and I was in the hospital. My mom pretty much talked me into substituting at a little elementary school because a teacher passed away. I didn't want to and I went to the school and the principal was like, oh, let me show you this class. There's all kind of learning disabilities and there's LD students and ADHD, BEH, or some playing BAD or something, <laughs> everything. And um, she said, come on now because I know you want this job. I said, no, I don't. She said, you don't want to teach it? You want to take this teaching job? I said, no, ma'am. She said, then why are you here? I said, my mama made me come. <laughs> and she said, no, she said, well, let me show you the kids. And when I walked in, I saw the classroom and I saw the kids and I saw their faces and I fell in love with it. And I found that I had been looking all over the world for adventure and something just to really move me and then when I got in that classroom I found it because teaching was the greatest adventure the greatest challenge the greatest anything that I'd ever experienced a word went out they needed teachers in Harlem right. how did you first hear about that message and then how did you set sail it was just a TV show it was a TV show that showed these disadvantaged schools in Harlem schools that were going to close because of overcrowded classroom and classrooms and a lack of teachers and so I just packed up my car that summer and drove up there and went up down the streets of Harlem till I found a school and that's where I started teaching. You just drove up and down the street? Just drove up and down the streets, had a little map, never been there up and down that area trying to find these schools and um, I walked into one of the schools and there was a fight going on in the doorway. I helped break up the fight and the, the little boy, I was trying to hold him down and trying to calm him down, he was going <laughs> and I was trying to calm him down and I took him to the office and set him down and he was just going <laughs> And I said, you know what? I said, I was breathing like that one time and I passed out. And he said, for real? <laughs> I said, yeah. And so I um, ended up talking to this kid. And after about 15 minutes, he said, you know, you talk to me with respect. He said, if there were other teachers here who taught me with respect, he said, I wouldn't get in so much trouble because I can tell you would really care about me. And I took it as a sign that's the school where I was supposed to be. So I started teaching.